I'm currently in Guernsey, which is in the Channel Islands. It's one of seven Channel Islands, and if you've been watching my videos recently, you'll know that the Channel Islands is somewhere I come every year on my holiday with my family. And it's a beautiful area of coastline, and the islands have so many fantastic beaches and wonderful views. So I thought it's about time I walked round the Guernsey coastline. This is a 39 mile trail and I'm doing this pretty spur of the moment to be honest. I know the island well but I've never linked it all together in one loop walk and I've got all my stuff with me to camp so I've got enough food and equipment for two nights three days and I'm not sure if I will do it all in one go. Well, maybe I'll just do a day today but I'd like to do it in one go um, and there's no official coast path you know there aren't signs that point you around telling you where to go you sort of have to just connect the dots and follow the little stretches of walks between the bays which is what I'm doing at the minute so I've just passed Fermain which is one of the bays outside St Peterport that's where I began my hike and that's where I'm going to finish it as well and now I'm just coming sort of round turning round south going away from uh, St Peter Port and then I'll loop round in a clockwise direction. But it's a wonderful day today. I'm looking forward to showing you guys some of the coast. So I've been walking for about 6 hours 40 minutes and I just hit 20 kilometers, nearly at 21 kilometers now and it's, pretty, it's been pretty tiring 
mainly because I've climbed almost 2,000 meters already. Generally in six hour 40, I would have walked further than 20 kilometers. And it's because the ascent of going up and down Bay Headland, Bay Headland, like it was when I've done Pembrokeshire and other coastal hikes like this before. It's so tiring on your legs and you walk much slower than you expect. It's gotten a bit quieter now on the trails. Uh, I just passed Le Goff and I'm approaching Plymont now. And a bit of cloud has come over it, which I'm actually slightly happy about because I was roasting before. But hopefully it'll clear again so I can get a nice sunset this evening. But in the whole time I've been walking, I haven't seen many options for wild camping. It's very thick hedgerows either side of the path. Bracken and thorns and gorse, not very nice. So Try and keep an eye out, but we'll have to wait and see. was that place. That was creepy up there. Mm -hmm. 